also uh, suggested that a father should uh, give his uh, effeminate son a, quote, good punch. When confronted about those comments, the pastor, Sean Harris uh, is his name, said he was joking, was misunderstood. Today, another pastor is making headlines for comments he made from the pulpit last Sunday, also in North Carolina. Charles Worley is the pastor's name. That's him making the sermon. In the sermon, Pastor Worley blasted President Obama for supporting same-sex marriage, but he didn't stop there. He told his parishioners from the pulpit what he would do to, quote, get rid of everyone who isn't heterosexual in this country. Of our president getting up and saying that it was all right for two women to marry or two men to marry, I tell you right now, I was disappointed bad. Uh, but I tell you right there, as as sorry as you can get, the Bible's against it, God's against it, I'm against it, and if you've got any sense, you're against it. I had a way, I figured a way out, a way to get rid of all the lesbians and queers, but I couldn't get it past the Congress. Build a great, big, large fence, hundred. 50 or 100 mile long, put all the lesbians in there, fly over and drop some food. Do the same thing with the queers and the homosexuals. And have that fence electrified till they can't get out. Feed them. And, and you know what? In a few years, they'll die out. Do you know why they can't reproduce? Uh, he did not stop there. He went on to say this. I, I tell you right now, Somebody said, who are you going to vote for? I ain't going to vote for a baby killer and a homosexual lover. You said, did you mean to say that? You better believe I did. God have mercy. It makes me puke and sick. Clearly he is again it. By the way, his church has now removed the sermon from their website, though during the sermon you could hear members of the congregation shouting amen. Reverend Gaddy, you're a Baptist, so, so is Pastor Worley. Does this kind of rhetoric about imprisoning gays, electrifying fences, waiting for them to die, I mean, is there anything they, Christian about that? I see nothing Christian about it and nothing American about it. In fact, Anderson, it is about as contradictory to a, a religion based on love and acceptance and welcome as you can imagine, and it violates everything we understand about the Constitution and its affirmation of diversity and freedom for people to live out their identity. From a religious standpoint, I mean, there are, are passages in the Old Testament um, that, that clearly you know, seem to be against uh, same-sex relationships. How do you square that with, with your understanding of, of the Bible and Christianity? Well, Anderson, you're asking a question that would take the rest of your program to answer because it gets into biblical interpretation, and uh, I don't think that's what you want right now. But let me put it this way. There are texts in all sacred scriptures that if you rip out of their context and let them stand alone, give out a message that is contradictory to the whole sweep of truth in the Bible. And that's what happens with many of these texts. They are lifted out of context, lifted out of a culture completely different from ours, and then preached on with a hateful message and a repulsive kind of exclusivism. And in reality, they are a part of a book, the whole purpose of which is to reveal the love of God who wants us to love each other and not attempt to judge each other, but to show mutual respect, dignity, and worth for every individual, and to learn to get along with each other and cooperate with each other. That's also what our government is about. So in one fell swoop, this angry minister managed to discredit from his pulpit both the Constitution of the United States and the compassion that we find in the Bible. And additionally, he did a very dangerous thing by planting seeds of hatred in sick minds that in the right circumstances can act on them and do the kind of violence that has no place in our world. All right, guys, I want you to keep it friendly. Okay, I want you to shake hands. Give it up, the louder you are, the harder they smack, let's hear it! Rock, paper, scissors for the first lap, guys. Rock, paper, one, okay, paper, cover.
Memphis Rock. Lewis first stop. All right, folks. Here we go. Shake hands. Shake hands. Here we go. Come on. Don't look at me. 